In this Learn Electrics video, we look at how we should connect domestic lighting circuits when adding extra lamps to a circuit. It's easy enough to do, but if you haven't done it before, or you're new to the trade, then this video will help you. Some recent questions that have been asked can be summed up like this. I have a single lamp in the lounge. I would like to add another lamp that is controlled by the same switches that I already have. How do I connect it? Do I need to change the switches and what needs to be altered in the circuit? Shown here is a two-way switching circuit and the method we use is just the same for one-way switching. And we will show you the difference between two-plate and three-plate systems. Most often the customer has a circuit with a single lamp and they've asked for another lamp to be added that comes on and goes off at the same time as the existing lamp. It's actually very easy. Just be methodical. All the changes are made at the ceiling rows and there is nothing to alter or change at any of the switches. You need to know your ceiling rows. Are we working with a two-plate ceiling rows or a three-plate one? The easiest way to tell the difference is to count the number of twin and earth cables that come into the ceiling rows, if twin and earth has been used. In a two-plate system, there will only be one twin and earth cable entering the ceiling rows, and that is the switch cable coming from the switches. For a three-plate system, there will be two twin and earth cables, a switch cable from the switches and a feed cable from the consumer unit. Whether it's twin and earth or singles, take a look at the middle brass block, the live loop block. In a two-plate system, this middle block should be empty, whilst in a three-plate system, there will be at least two conductors in this middle block. We can look at the two-plate system first, although there is little difference in what we do. This is the two plate ceiling rows. The existing ceiling rows has a switch cable going to it. Place the second ceiling rows in position and we are ready to connect the wiring. What is it that we want to achieve? At the moment we have the 230 volt switched line connecting to the lamp and from the lamp to the neutral. When 230 volts appears at the switched line the lamp will come on. To make a parallel lighting circuit so that both lamps come on at the same time, we need the switched line to be connected at the same point on both lamps and the neutral to be connected to the same point on both. Any voltage on the switched line is the same voltage on both lamps. Now we can install the cable from ceiling rose number one to ceiling rose number two, the second lamp. The new connections are the same at both ceiling roses. The brown into the two hole switch block on both ceiling roses. Then on both we connect the blue into the outside block of three holes, the neutral block. And not forgetting the CPC into the earth terminal at both ceiling roses. And that is the job done. The three plate system is almost identical, except there are more wires already installed in the first ceiling rows. As before, we have the original and the newly positioned ceiling rows for the second lamp. This time, there are already two twin and earth cables entering the first ceiling rows, the switch cable and the feed cable from the consumer unit. Install the new cable now in the same manner as for the two plate circuit. Note that the live loop conductors are not taken to the new second ceiling rows. The middle block of three holes is left unoccupied on the new ceiling rows. The brown will go into the two hole switch block on both ceiling roses. Then we can connect the blue into the outside block of three holes, the neutral block on both ceiling roses. And finally, connect the CPC into the earth terminal on both to complete the installation. A question that is sometimes asked is, what will happen if I connect the lamps in series and not in parallel? Well, let's take a quick look without going into too much detail. We have videos on Ohm's law and power law that give a full explanation of these important formulas. And we will leave a link to these videos in the description. A single 100 watt lamp is connected across the 230 volt supply and we are getting 100 watts of lighting from it. Power law tells us that the wattage divided by the voltage will tell us how many amps this is. And our answer here is 0 0.43 amps. With two 100 watt lamps in parallel, we have 200 watts of lighting energy. So how much current is that? With a parallel circuit, two lamps 
will draw more current than a single lamp. So 200 watts divided by 230 volts is 0 0.87 amps. Twice the current, twice the amount of light. Now look at the same lamps in series and a big change has happened here. When lamps are placed in series, the current flowing is reduced and so is the effective wattage of the lamps. The wattage will only be 100 watts at 230 volts per lamp, but now the voltage is divided between the two lamps. So each lamp will only output about 25 watts of light. It will look very dull. A quick calculation shows that the current has dropped to 0 0.22 amps, and it is for this reason that we don't usually install lamps in series. If we put more lamps in a room, it's because we want more light, not less. Just going over what we've done, installing a second, third or fourth lamp is a relatively easy process. Simply connect the new lamps in parallel. This method will work with two plate lighting and three plate lighting. It will work with one way, two way and intermediate switching circuits. All the changes are made at the ceiling rows. None of the switches need changing or altering. And that is it. Hopefully we've added some more knowledge to your mental toolbox. Adding extra lighting is easy, work methodically, work safely and all will be okay. Thank you for watching, it really is appreciated and we hope that you found this video useful. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you will find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel, so don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again very soon.